This is In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Today I want to talk about submitting assignments in Schoology, specifically for uh, those learners who are uh, or have not had a lot of time working in Schoology. If anything I discuss in today's broadcast uh, you have an interest in or have any feedback, feel free to reach out to me via Twitter. My handle's at B-N-L-E-E-Z. For those of you who are taking um, class with me and we're using Schoology, perhaps we're just getting started with Schoology and uh, you may or may not be familiar with how to submit assignments. So I want to go over that uh, very briefly here uh, by showing you some examples. So for those of you who are taking Writing Workshop, uh, we've had a couple of assignments this first week. And as we've talked about, all of the content for the class is organized by unit and then within each unit by week. Each week, I'm sorry, each unit uh, has four weeks of content. So as we've completed week one, you'll see different types of content available to you in Schoology. And the ones that, uh, that I want to focus on today are those assignments. And any items listed here that have the pencil icon, those are going to be assignments. So some assignments are going to be for a grade, others will not. So for us, the assignments that have been for a grade include learner expectations. That was the first one. So double check that. Make sure that you've uploaded that assignment. And the second is under narrow down, narrowing down a topic, which is what we focused on this first week. There's an assignment called problem statement. So in this particular example, typically assignments will be of two types. One will be where you're asked to submit a, uh, a comment, and this will be very much like a post or a reply to a post, and this is an example of that. You can just uh, reply to this as a comment, and um, submit your assignment that way. Or there are going to be other examples of assignments that will ask for you to submit work. And you can submit a text or you can submit uh, an attachment. And I'm gonna show a link here where you can access uh, a prior video of mine where I go into detail about what that looks like on a mobile device since most of you are using a mobile device. So. Just as a reminder, make sure that, uh, that you're checking the assignments. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to go under Materials and Filter for Assignments. And that way you can see all of the assignments that have been assigned so far, those, of you, those assignments that have been completed as well as those that have yet to be completed. And I think this is a, a very quick way that you can go about finding assignments that are due for the course. Again, some of these are going to be for a grade, others will not. Most of them will be for a grade, however. And so take advantage of this filtering system that uh, Schoology provides. I don't think there's a way, to my knowledge, at the time of this recording, that you can filter through, as I'm doing here on your mobile device, on your phone. But if you're using a tablet or obviously a PC, you have this option of filtering different types of content in Schoology. So I think this is, again, an easy way to to filter and find specific types of uh, content for the course. Okay, so this is just a reminder, again, uh, kind of summarizing week one uh, for those taking a uh, writing workshop that we had a couple of assignments due this first week. And uh, if you have not submitted, please go ahead and do so. If you do have any questions or not able to find certain assignments, feel free to send me an email via Schoology. Obviously, ask me in class or come by my office and we can help uh, I'll try to clarify uh, your doubts working with uh, Schoology.